Hello lovely people and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. Today's class is going to be a very short tutorial for those of you that are runners out there. Perfect class to do before you go running, working the quadriceps and those hamstrings to make sure you don't sustain an injury on your run. As always, I wouldn't recommend this for pregnancies and please consult with your doctor before participating. Right, without further ado, let's get started. We're going to stand on our mats. I'll show you the side of you for what we're going to be doing, working our quadriceps first. Now, if your balance isn't all that good, you can pop your hand on the wall. You're going to take hold of the inside or the outside of that right ankle and you're pulling that foot into your buttock. And we're just staying there. Now, pushing your knee down towards the floor, you feel like the stretch of the front of that quadricep. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're swapping over the other side. Yet again, if you need to hold on to a wall, that's absolutely fine. And again, once you're there, you're pushing that knee down towards the floor, you feel a deep stretch up the front of that leg. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now, we're gonna just take off the hip distance apart. I want you to take your right foot over your left foot, right foot over your left foot. Now we're trying to keep our legs nice and straight here, and we're simply fold, folding forward and down. Now, do not worry if your hands don't meet the mat, let them hang. If you wish for more, you can take your hands to the facing behind you and trying to pull your nose in towards those knees. It's a massive stretch up the back of those legs. Head and neck nice and relaxed. Staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, move those hands forward, pull your tummy in, and up we come. So you guessed it, swapping those feet over. So crossing the left foot over the right foot, left foot over the right foot, and again, bottom out behind, just coming forward and down. Yet again, if you can, locking back those knees, legs nice and straight, if you can, Fingertips to the fore, trying to pull the nose in towards the knees. More importantly, is just trying to get those legs nice and straight. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yet again, up we come and just take those legs back. Now we're just gonna pop our left foot at the back of the mat, right leg out in front, right leg's nice and straight, we're extending those arms up, and we're coming forward and down. So we're working those hamstrings a little bit more here. So you can pop your hands either side of that foot, you can pop them on the leg, never push against the knee, please, and just stay there. Now, if you're quite comfortable, you can take those toes up to the ceiling. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pull your tummy in, up we come, we're stepping that left foot forward and taking that right leg back. So left leg nice and straight, extend those arms up to the ceiling and then again, pushing your bottom out behind, coming forward and down, hands either side of that foot yet again for a little bit more, taking your toes up towards the ceiling. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more down, pull your tummy in and step that foot in. So we're just dropping down to our knees. We're going to bring our right foot through, right foot through. Now all we're doing here, we're keeping, it's not going to be a right angle. We're letting our hips sit down to the floor and we're simply popping our hands on that right thigh. So you feel your gravity pulling a center of your body down to the floor. Relax those shoulders, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, hands to the mat, take that right leg back, other foot out in front, yet again, we're sinking down in that hip, hands that leg, really feel your pelvic area dropping down towards the mat. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more dance, we're gonna take that left leg back, this time, bringing the right foot through last of these stretches for those hamstrings. I'm sure you're desperate to go out on your run. Taking those toes up towards the ceiling. Right angle on this knee this time and dropping your nose down towards your knee. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, pull your tummy in, take the right leg back. Leg out in front, toes up towards the ceiling, right angle on this right knee 
and drop your nose down towards your knee. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One well done. We're going to take that knee back. Last of these now. We're just going to lie back on our mats. So you're going to pop your right foot onto your left thigh, right foot onto your left thigh, you're taking the right hand through, and we're just simply pulling those, that knee in towards the chest. So that's for your gluteus maximus, piriformis, and sciatic nerve. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release those legs, well done. So this time, left foot on the right thigh, left foot on the right thigh, left arm goes through the gap in between legs, clasping just below the right knee, pulling the nose and knee in together. So into your chest, relax your head down, shuffle it in that left glute, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Well done. So thank you very much for joining me today for this pre-run tutorial. I hope you enjoy your run. Hopefully if you keep up with the yoga, you shouldn't sustain any injuries. As always, please leave me a comment down below. I will do a warm downs one video shortly. And if you could like, subscribe and share, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Om Shanti, which is peace.